you find that then you follow the tensions that you've got in the tissue rather than trying to imagine trying to correct a particular problem in that tissue now in 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 the case of a dog that has a very slack hip joint some of the muscle tension built in around that hip may well be what is maintaining the integrity of that joint now in, in certain exaggerated and drastic cases there's a little dog um that uh, i um that comes into the in, in it's one of my fellow lecturers at the osteopathic center for animals has a a little um cavalier king charles that got hit by a car fractured pelvis fractured femur and it had a proximal um, femoral osteotomy so the the, the 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 proximal end of the femur was actually removed now what actually happens in that case is that the, the tissues around the joint the soft tissues learn to adapt to maintain some integrity in that joint and it creates almost like its own pseudarthrosis and the job of the osteopath in that particular case is not to try and remove all the tension in that tissue it's to try and make it so that it, it's it's usable because it's the tension in the tissue that's maintaining the integrity of the joint so what you need to do is to follow the tension of the tissues according to what you've got under your hands and not necessarily just by the book